feel like it's been so long since I've talked to you. So it is Tuesday. I took almost the entire week off last week from YouTube, Instagram, everything. And it felt so good because like that's my work, that's my job. And most people take off the last like week or two of the year. And I felt really good to do, but I missed you guys a lot. So it feels really weird to be recording right now. Um, right now we are getting ready to go to daycare. I look crazy because I showered this morning um, before we left. Oh my gosh, I did not do a thing to my hair. Okay, so I'm writing out checks for daycare because we were not there last week due to weather and like and like some other things because she was only open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so anyways, I got a pair for last week and for this week. Um, I'm gonna turn my fan down just in case it's getting kind of crazy. So I, since I didn't see her before Christmas, I also have um, her Christmas gift with me today as well. So we have all the things to get done today. I have so many things to get done and I was set back about an hour because my keys were locked in the vehicle. <laughs> um, it is Monday for me, if you guys are wondering, the Monday after the Christmas break, you guys are seeing this on Tuesday morning and I plan to include a bunch of like weight loss things, how I've been like keeping up. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about it today too. Um, but anyways, okay. So, like I said, first things first on the schedule this morning, we're going to bring Kaya to daycare preschool, and then Riker and I have all the errands to do. So we need to run to Sam's Club, um, and I will bring you guys with me to Sam's Club and show you some of the things that are staples for us in our house. And then I also need to run to Target because um, I have a drive-up order. Since we just got home yesterday, we were in Minneapolis for Christmas. Um, that's where my family lives. So we um, got back last night and I wasn't able to bring, like take down any of the Christmas decor, which I'm, if I'm, which if I'm being honest with you guys, like I am so ready to get the Christmas decor down. I am ready for like new things in my space. And I'm ready to tear everything down. Not just like not just Christmas decor. I'm ready to like take all of the decorations that I have out right now. Just want them down and out. I want to finish the ship lap in the main living area. I want to finish our gym um, in the basement because we're redoing the basement. So stay tuned for all the renovations. We'll be doing like step by steps over on um the m and m channel for you guys showing you guys how we did it and then i'll share the designing and the decorating and the after over here on my channel so anywho okay i'm going to finish with this shenanigans get kai to daycare and then we're gonna go get some coffee because mama's a little tired after that christmas break i don't know about you guys oh okay so we're switching it up today i decided to go to caribou instead of starbucks um just because I like their espresso a little bit better at Caribou. At Caribou, I feel like their espresso is just a little bit better. Like I feel like the Starbucks espresso can feel or can taste like kind of, it can taste burnt. So anyways, it's just smoother here at Caribou and I really need some good espresso this morning. I'm so tired. So I got, if you guys are wondering what I get, I get a large, iced Americano, which has like three shots of espresso in it. So I get a large iced Americano with heavy cream and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Um, sometimes I won't get any sugar-free vanilla, but I was feeling like a little bit of flavor flavor today. Um, also at this caribou, you have got to try the farmhouse sandwich. No, it's not healthy for you, but it's so good. I'm not having it today because of course I'm back on the keto train. Um, I do like to give myself like breaks. So during the holiday season, one of my biggest tips for you guys is just do it. Like have the four day weekend and then get right back on it again. Don't let yourself like slack when you get back home. For example, okay, so we just had a four day weekend for Christmas and here Monday I am struggling but I'm back on the bus. Um, the one thing that I will say, like 
changes a little bit like once I get back from having like four cheat days and by the way I I still like to a certain point like watch what I eat um, and I just make sure that I don't have a ton of sweets because like the sugar is insane in those um, mine was mostly just like dips like I had so much nacho cheese this weekend it was so good um, and my dad is such a good cook and he did all the dinners we had like french dips and like oh my god it was so good we had prime rib it was so, so good I ate all the food so this morning I find like when I'm not intermittent fasting like during my cheat days if I don't intermittent fast it is really hard it is really hard for me to hop right back on the train as soon as um, we get back home so so instead of just, like hopping back on as far as like intermittent fasting um, I will actually give myself like this morning I had a little bit of like meat and cheese for my meat and cheese tray we, we brought to my sister's house I had a little bit this morning just to like ease me back in it was keto um, but as far as like fasting etc I can't do it right away I get sick if I fast for too long on like the first day back for my diet so anyway all right guys I am going to scoot I'm gonna grab my coffee I'll show you what you, I'll show you what that looks like and then we're gonna head to Sam's Club grab some groceries and then I've got a Target drive up order and then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna be so tired by that point we're gonna have wings for lunch of course and then um, I am going to start taking down the Christmas decorations not that I'm looking forward to that I just I need like the clean space I need the clean space all right, you guys, I just got back from Sam's Club. I'm sitting on my floor because I'm exhausted. I feel like my energy is just like at a zero. So, okay, we're gonna run through everything that I got from Sam's Club. Hello, Charlie. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna go over everything with you guys that I got from Sam's Club. And I'm going to kind of walk you through, I've been getting so many questions on my keto diet and how I lose the weight, like what do I eat, all these things. So I'm gonna walk you through a normal grocery haul for me. This is a heavier one, so this is a really, really good um, example grocery haul for you guys to see because this is where I load up on my meat and some of the staples in my house so you can really see what a big grocery haul looks like. Um, I do spend around $600 a month on groceries, but that is for myself and for my two kids and my husband. So anywhere between $400 and $600 a month is what we spend. I wouldn't say it's consistently $600, um, especially if we are like, if we purchase like more meat one month, it might last us for like two months and we might only spend $400 the next month. So I'm going to break down like how I feed like my family normal meals and like how I work in keto meals for myself. FYI for you guys, I'm going to start posting some keto meal ideas, I think over on my TikTok and my Instagram reels. I'm not super active over there. I did just create a TikTok account like two weeks ago. If you guys wanna follow me, I'll leave all of my information down below. But I'm gonna start posting some tick, or I'm going to start posting some keto meal ideas, like quick and easy to follow recipes over on TikTok and over on my reels on Instagram. Um, so go watch those and then I will also have a separate video on Friday for you guys debuting on New Year's Day of a keto what I eat in a day how I lose the weight um, and kind of just a breakdown of um, how to do keto yourself and I'll try to be as thorough as I possibly can I am not a dietitian or a nutritionist this is just um, this is a way of eating that has worked for me for a really long time anyways I just want to share um, how I feel on a mostly dairy-free, gluten-free keto diet. I do incorporate cheese once in a while. I try to stay away from it for the most part, um, but I will include some really easy keto recipes with cheese in them because I know a lot of you are going to want to start out with cheese in your diet. So without any further ado, let's hop on into what I got at Sam's Club. First things first is right underneath the tripod here, I get my paper towels from Costco that's Hands down, one of my staples um, from from Costco, Sam's, Sam's Club. I have both a Costco membership and a Sam's membership, and I get very different things at both of the places. Um, the only things that I commonly get at both are tortilla chips for my kids and my husband. Um, we go through those like crazy. I'll get the Kirkland brand. Like if I'm at Costco, I get the on the border. If I'm at Sam's Club, um, I've got paper towels, and um, I will get 
um, toilet paper from both places as well. Um, Skinny Pop is another one and salsa and shredded cheese, all the things. So those are like staples I get from both places. Sam's Club, I do feel like I can get quite a bit more um, for quite a bit less. So I just recently upgraded. I just bought my Sam's Club membership and today I upgraded to the plus because I I have found that I don't need to go to the grocery store anymore for like single things because Sam's Club has so much more of what I need versus when I was going to Costco before. Um, I feel like I was constantly making separate runs to like Walmart or Aldi's or like whatever. So anyway, um, I got English muffins for the kids. These are so easy in the morning. I make them breakfast sandwiches almost every single morning. I intermittent fast until noon um, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit in my video on Friday, but I'm going to start pushing myself to do um, like every other day. So pushing myself to wait until noon to eat, right? That's my normal. All um, My eating window is like 12 to it's like 6 or 7. And then the next day, pushing myself to wait until only dinner and then going back again. Um, according to my body type, I did like a body type quiz. Um, I have done several of them, but according to um, like some of this research I've been doing, my body should react really well to something like that because I've got stress, I have like a stress body and hormonal body, right? Be anyway, I will keep you guys updated on that. Um, and then wings, I, these are the wings that we get, the Tyson Buffalo Hot Wings. These are so good and um, you can put these in your air fryer or in the oven. I like to cook them until they're just a little bit crispy. So, so good. Um, I also picked up some oven roasted turkey breast this week because I want to do some turkey melts. Um, I will show you guys um, a recipe um, over on TikTok and my Instagram later this week. And then I also grabbed, all right, so all the meat today. I also grabbed chicken thighs. I like to make um, copycat chipotle chicken burrito bowls. One of my most like popular recipes and I will include that in a keto cook with me for you guys. Okay, and then um, I picked up ground turkey. This was like $10, by the way, the chicken thighs, five bucks for five pounds. It's like 92 cents a pound. It's such a good deal. Um, I also picked up ground turkey. So this is five pounds of ground turkey and it was on sale for $10. So that it's like two bucks a pound, which is really good. Um, grabbed half and half because I have this in my coffee every day. Oh my goodness, I need to place a Target pickup order because I forgot cold brew coffee, which I've been on a kick with lately. Um, okay, and then I just grabbed oranges for the kids. Riker tore the bag open in the cart. Um, he was just insane insane in the cart. Um, picked up some mushrooms because I'm going to be doing some steak and mushrooms. Um, now the ground turkey, just like a couple of ideas of what I do with that. Um, I like to do spaghetti squash spaghetti with um, ground turkey and a little bit of um, spaghetti sauce. You can use it instead of taco meat. I really like to do a taco soup with it or like enchilada soup with it. It's so yummy. Um, I picked up some of these um, zucchini and yellow, yellow squash spirals. Um, this is good stuff. This is great stuff. I like, again, I will do a spaghetti version with this, or you can even do an Alfredo version with these noodles. Um, I picked up the kids, this, and the, my, this Skinny Pop butter popcorn. Um, I will probably even have some, if I have enough carbs left in the day, Sometimes I'll sneak some of this in. It's not super keto friendly. Um, it's 12 grams of, or 12 net grams of carbs per three and one quarter cup serving. Um, and sometimes I'll just like have a cup at the end of the day and I'll calc that out on my fitness pal. Um, but if I'm just like super hungry and, or like on my period or something, I will have skinny pop at the end of the day. Sometimes you just need a little crunch and that popcorn um, tends to hold me over. And I, I don't crave like potato chips or like all the junk food things when I just like allow myself to have a tiny bit of skinny pop. Um, and again, I don't feel like it's the worst thing for me. So um, anyway, I also picked up some fresh cilantro salsa. Um, this was like five bucks from Sam's Club. <laughs> I picked up the Carb Balance um, tortillas. These are not gluten-free, but 
Um, I would consider this to be more of like a um, like a keto junk food for me. I try to stay mostly gluten and dairy free on my keto journey. But let's be real, we're all human and sometimes we're craving certain things. And it is so, so nice to have these in the house when you're like, when you're craving pizza. I'm gonna show you guys a super awesome like pizza hack. Um, when you're on keto, these are super awesome. And for one tortilla, it is like four net carbs because it has 19 grams of carbohydrates and 15 grams of dietary fiber. So four net carbs per, per tortilla, which, which is super awesome when you're just like, craving a little bit of something so um that is something else i plan to do i know my keto journey is a little bit different because i try to stay gluten free and dairy free just because i know they do like irritate like my body and i sometimes get like a little bit more headaches or upset stomach my skin doesn't react the best um, when i'm eating those things or including those things in my diet but i want to show you that there are so many things in I want to show you that keto is super versatile and can work with so work for so many people. Um, and I want to show you like all of the different kinds of recipes and foods you can have. So with that being said, I also picked up some shredded cheese. Again, I do have cheese in my diet once in a while. I just I live by the 80-20 rule. Um, so I got a two pack of the Mexican cheese. Grabbed some cottage cheese for the kids. Um, I got avocados. This is a keto staple for me. Also grabbed um, some pickles. I love, love, love pickles and I've got a really yummy recipe that I'm going to be trying with those to show you guys. Same with the pepperoni. I've been wanting to buy pepperoni in bulk like this for quite some time. Um, now it's not the best for you, but one of my favorite things to do with pepperoni is to make pepperoni chips. So good, next level, next level good. Um, also picked up regular pepperoni um, for, not regular pepperoni, <laughs> they're like deli pepperonis. This is for um, sandwiches and things like that. Um, so this is just like for like sandwiches and things like that for the kids. Um, I picked up a rotisserie chicken because I always do. One of my most favorite things to make with a rotisserie chicken is I'll dice it up with cucumbers and tomatoes and I forgot cucumbers for the second time. So I'm just gonna have to do it with um, tomatoes, but I'm just gonna dice everything up, toss a little bit of salt and pepper in there. So good. Um, like I said, this was a, our meat refill. This, I don't know why these things gross me out so much. Um, but they do. Um, but I do separate this out, let's see. So this is 10 pounds of meat and I got it for 258 a pound, um, which is like the best deal um and then also i got um a giant flat of beef chuck roast i'm actually going to cut this up into four different sections and we can do like steak tips barbacoa um we can do like steak and we will we'll do like fajitas with this chuck roast meat because it's so good um, and then we also do just like regular chuck roast, but we'll cut this giant thing up into four and I got it for $23.66. So it was $5 off, um, because it needed it to be used or freezed by tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to be freezing these bad boys. So $23 for meals for roast. That is awesome. Um, and then I also picked up some um, uh, beef strip loin steak, but the marbling on these were really good. In regards to the meat, um, we have 10 meals, three, so 13 meals, plus four, 17 meals, plus five, um, so 22 meals, and then 24, 25 with the um, chicken thighs. My feet are falling asleep. Okay, so we've got at least 25 meals here um, as far as dinner, dinner meals. Um, and I still have more meat in the freezer. So I would say we're up to about 30 meals for dinner as of right now. Um, okay, and then I picked up chicken nuggets for the kids and pizza rolls for the kids. These are staples that I always keep in the house um, just because sometimes when we're on the go or the kids just need something right now, 
it's so easy for like a right now meal um just because we do eat healthy the majority of the other food that we get is healthy doesn't mean that we skimp on some of the quicker meals when you have kids it's just inevitable um you have to have quick meals so i will never be the mama to hate on other mamas for cooking up some pizza rolls because girl i'm right there with you pizza rolls and some dino nuggets i mean even i divulge once in a while into those because the classics guys they're good if you're too good for pizza rolls and chicken nuggies see you later <laughs> anyway okay all right on to the next thing croissants i wanted to do some fun recipes with the kids this week so i picked um some croissants up um and i also want to do like french dip style stuff oh that's right I need to get au jus sauce. Au jus and cold brew, don't let me forget. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna do like French dip style for them, but I'm gonna do a keto version for us. Broccoli for us, I like broccoli um, when I'm on keto. I uh, picked up some Swiss cheese for, um, again, for the kids' sandwiches and for some fun recipes that I have coming up. Um, oat nut bread, Mike takes a loaf with him to work every single week because he has peanut butter toast every morning at work. Um, and then I have a loaf to keep at home for the kids because they also like to have peanut butter toast. Sour cream, because that is an essential in my house, especially for like, um, like keto recipes. For example, like um, mashed cauliflower, that's a big one for me that I use sour cream. Also, um, like taco soup to cream it up. I'll add a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. Um, green peppers because that is a staple. I, I love green peppers, love green peppers. Um, mozzarella cheese for um, some pizza, keto pizza recipes. Cheese sticks for my kids. And then salad, because Mike's request was Cobb salads for this week. Um, so I got that. Also, I need to get some good Caesar dressing too. The best Caesar dressing is in the refrigerated section at any of the grocery stores. Um, now the next thing that I got, um, I did a Target drive up order and I picked up three Sterilite, Sterilite bins um, for Christmas decor. I get my oat milk from there. And then I also grabbed some OxyClean. And believe it or not, this is mostly for me because I can't seem to keep myself clean. Hence why there's dirt on my sweatshirt from the vehicle. And this is what I'm so excited about. This was a little treat to myself. Um, this is a Baby Dash mini waffle maker. And um, this was like $10 at Target. And you can make all of the things with this little guy. I'm not actually going to use it for waffles. I'm going to be using it for a ton of keto recipes. So stay tuned for all of the keto ideas and snacks and recipes and all the things um, over on my TikTok and over on my Instagram reels and here on YouTube as well. So anyway, oh, and then I also grabbed, I usually, I don't know about you guys if you go to Sam's or Costco, but I'll usually grab like a pair of footy Carter footy pajamas when I'm there because they're like $7. Um, anyway, okay, that's what I got. I need to order Target pickup for cold brew and au jus sauce. And then that will be my entire grocery haul. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that keto grocery haul. Got some ideas for kicking off your New Year's weight loss goals. Also, I am going to be sharing little snippets of like my favorite keto recipes over on Instagram. And on TikTok, I'll leave again all of that down below for you guys linked. Um, I just uploaded um, my first two TikToks on the keto weight loss and I'm super excited to be sharing that with you guys. So head on over to TikTok and to Instagram to see all of the good things for weight loss. So I will see you tomorrow for that undecorate and clean with me for the Christmas decor, which I'm totally dreading. Okay, bye guys.